Hey, what's up, Black Belt Joe here. Today we are going to discuss book 59 in Arnold Stein's Goosebumps original series, The Haunted School, 120 pages long. This came out September of 97. We're in the final stretch. We got 60, 61, 62. We got three books left and we are done with our marathon, <clears throat> which started April 17th. It's been a whirlwind five-month adventure. Whirlwind. But we're almost done. So Haunted School, it's interesting it annoyed me at times, but it's interesting. Um, main character, his name is Tommy Fraser. Just got to a new middle school. His dad just married a new wife. He's got a new stepmom, got a new school, got a new house, got to know everything, right? So he's learning the, the school. He doesn't know everything. And there's an old school, which is kind of boarded up, but it's, it's attached to the new school. So the old school's not in use anymore. Uh, the old school was erected 1947 and we know this takes place september 97 so it's a 50 years ago the school opened so 50 years from 97 was 47 so these kids are trapped in the old school the original class of 25 kids from 1947 is trapped in the in the old school they haven't aged they haven't done anything somehow it's this it's it's the plot of stranger things it's very strange reading this and comparing it, because 97 Haunted School is well before 2015's Netflix's Stranger Things, which is not a book series, which didn't start as a book series. It now has a book series, but it didn't start as a book series. It started as a TV series. This book is very reminiscent of their adventures in Hawkins Middle School, going between real worlds upside down, what is a portal that can bring you from one world to the next. So this is referencing the gray world, which is a black and white world, which is on the other side of the wall, and the wall has color on it. So what happens when you go in the old school, but you go into the gray world of the old school? So Tommy is uh, doing this decoration committee thing with his friend Ben, and they have this friend Talia who's doing a bunch of other you know dance stuff, preparation for this dance that they're all prepping for. And so they need to get tape because a banner ripped. So then Ben and, and Tommy are, let's go to the art room. But Tommy's like, oh, I, I know this shortcut. But he doesn't know the shortcut because he doesn't know the school. So they get lost in the old school. They find this elevator thinking that they could just use it to get to the third floor to get to the art room. But the buttons don't work. And the only button that works is this red button, which takes them sideways, not up and down. So they go sideways and they're into this gray world and they're meeting these gray ghost kid things because they're still 12 years old 12 13 years old but they haven't aged since the 1940s and they're just obsessed with these new kids because they're just they have color they have pink flesh and beige flesh and they have shirts with color and pants with color and they have hair with color everybody else who's been stuck there is black white and gray so there's these five main kids in this main room and then they say don't you know you can't leave because, you know, obviously we can't we can't leave. Otherwise, we would have escaped. And for some reason, we haven't aged. But outside of this school is not the same town that they that the new, that the 97 kids are used to compared to the 47 kids. So the 47 town is there, but in gray. And there's these other kids, the other 20 kids that were trapped in the gray world um, have gone crazy. And they're drinking black goop from a, a pit and all these things, right? They're trying to get the color from... Uh, ben and Tommy when they actually do escape. So the the explanation of why the kids are trapped in the gray world is that there was this photographer, Mr. Chameleon, who took a photo of them in the library and then they just disappeared and nobody ever understands how they got to the gray world, why the camera sent them there, and why they can't get back. But then as two-thirds of the book goes by, it's revealed that, oh no, wait, a girl did escape about a week ago and we don't know how she escaped and we don't know if she's going to come back we thought that you were actually her coming back to get us and then as the story progresses and the fighting happens with the crazy kids talia reveals herself to be the escapee coming back into the gray world and she had decked herself out with tons of makeup and fake contacts and all these things because she is black and white and gray that that is her skid pigmentation and she found this old lipstick in her purse in her pocketbook as it was called and she, it turns out that the color of that never faded because it was never opened in the 50 years that it was been there. And she just completely forgot about it. So she saw it and she was drawing on a wall and the wall window that she drew out of the lipstick created a portal and she got into the color world. 
grayscale, gray world, color world. And so the real world. So she's like, no, it's too much work in the real world. I belong in the gray world. That's why I come back. And then quick Ben and Tommy jump through this portal that I just am going to make with my lipstick. That way you can go and we're just going to stay here and, and be done with it. So then Ben and Tommy go to the dance. The principal finds them, puts everybody together for a, a picture. And then there's a Mr. Chameleon there who takes a picture. And then that's it. It's just a flash and that's it. So how did Mr. Chameleon survive 50 years later um, taking, photo taking photographs of kids? So this is the second story third technical book second story third technical book where there's a magic camera some kind of camera that does stuff right say cheese and die say cheese and die again we have the camera that you know shows the bad stuff that's going to happen kind of a thing it predicts the bad future this camera for some reason brings the kids into a gray world and upside down if you will if we're using stranger things as the metaphor um compared to the real world so it's 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 fine it's it's i love stranger things so i loved that premise of it but i just thought it was weird that the portal to get from the gray world to the real world was a lipstick thing that you just draw on the wall and there you go so anybody's got some magic lipstick which it, it coincides with chalk zone with rudy rudy's got the chalk that was a wonderful wonderful animated nickelodeon show that we watched religiously when we were in middle school rudy's got the chalk love it so Rudy had this magic chalk and he could create portals and doorways and draw things and stuff. That's literally what the lipstick reminded me of. So if Chalk Zone met Stranger Things, that's what this book was. My, my concern, my problem was, and I have no problem with the cover art. It's, it's an inspired by, there's the gray kids with the gray stuff coming out of the colored locker. Totally fine. I think it's a great cover art representing the story. My problem is two thirds in, they're like, oh yeah, by the way, this girl escaped. And we don't know what happened. And then she comes back and she's like, oh yeah, I don't I don't like the real world. We're done with that. I'm going to stay in the gray world. I was like, bro, the whole story of these kids, these ghost kids, these gray kids were saying, we want to get to the real world. We want to get to the real world. And then when one of them escapes and then comes back and says, no, there's too much color. It's going to overwhelm us. And they're like, okay, you're right. We don't need to go there. No, 50 years you've been waiting to go to the real world and somebody stays there for a week and says, no, nah, you're not going to like it. And you're like, yeah, no bet. No, no, that's not how this works. Anyway, book 59, Arl Stein's Goosebumps, original series, The Haunted School. It's a good book. Overall, it's a good book. I, I give it that. September of 97. On to the next review. Mitch Mahalo.